Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and this is uh, an update to the last Windows Movie Maker tutorial that I did for PC Mac, which was a long time ago. Uh, this is the Movie Maker that a lot of us are familiar with. It's uh, version 2.1.4026.0. Uh, it's the one for Service Pack 2. Everyone has this, so, well, everyone with XP anyway. And uh, I'm going to show you something just for the export options to get your quality up a little more on YouTube because they have changed the way they uh, take videos now. Uh, they have 30 frame a second support now, which I believe before they just had 15. And in addition to that, I also found that exporting 640 by 480 files actually uh, translates to better quality on a YouTube video. Let's just say that you have a clip and you already have this in the uh, in the storyboard and you're ready to export the file to send it up to YouTube. What we'll do is I'll click on file and then save movie file and then uh, from these choices I'm going to select my computer because I'm going to export it as a uh, static file first to upload it to YouTube later and then I'll click next and then uh, you can title it whatever you want I'm just gonna label it as movie and then I'll click next and then on this screen I'm going to choose show more choices you may already see this but if you don't just click show more choices and I'm going to select other settings and from the drop down menu here I am going to select video for LAN 768 kilobit per second Now down here what it shows is that you have a bit rate of 768 kilobit per second 640 by 480 aspect ratio of 4 to 3 which is proper for YouTube because they don't do widescreen videos I'm sure they will in the future but right now it's just a letterbox style and it's got a frames per second of 30 now you can also do a video for LAN which is actually a little better quality which will be a, a 1 megabit per second instead of 768 uh, you may not notice too much difference when you do this uh, sometimes you will if you have really intricate video that has a lot of smaller stuff in it maybe you want to try this one if not you can do the 768 and you'll be just fine uh, to go anywhere above that really is not going to make a difference on YouTube but 768 and 1 megabit uh, compared to the lower bit rates it totally makes a difference I noticed a humongous jump in quality from one to the other so uh, video for land 768 KB BPS is going to be fine uh, make sure that your video does not exceed 100 megabytes else it won't be accepted and obviously don't let it go over 10 minutes because YouTube only allows 10 minute videos at the present time so uh, that's it so instead of my previous recommendation of 512 go ahead and go with the 768 or the 1 megabit it'll work out just fine and your videos will look better on YouTube that's it take it easy